Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite. Let's crack into another one. I forgot what we were doing, TNT. That's all right. Uh, I saw something the other day. I know we uh, we talk about sometimes like, are there aliens? Do ghosts exist or whatever? Wait, wait, <laughs> both? I mean, just random things like that, like those sort of supernaturally type things. Bruh, look, I'm going to tell you right now is that there are extraterrestrials, and I don't like you lumping them in with ghosts because ghosts do not exist. Aliens do. Okay. <laughs> well, what I, I saw a story. It was actually a <clears> – <throat> when they are talking about haunted houses, yeah. and I guess it's come out a lot of times that houses that people can think are haunted, mm-hmm. they end up having like – high levels of carbon monoxide and people are like hallucinating from the carbon monoxide ah! like so they're hearing things that aren't there they're seeing things that aren't there <laughs> when they go and investigate later they're all like oh you was just high on carbon monoxide you, ah! you weren't seeing no ghosts that's I was like, funny it's an interesting way to like you know because it says uh let's see da, 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 da. yeah explains why they're mostly older houses most likely to cons- contain aging and defective appliances. Why more hauntings are reported in the colding month, colder months. It says uh, s- carbon monoxide feelings such as being watched, hearing footsteps, voices, dizziness, headaches, sudden death or illness, strange behavior in pets such as excessive barking or meowing. It says the carbon monoxide theory also explains why some ghosts don't show up on photographs or videos. It says mm. photographs that do show ghosts are usually caused by dust, insects, fingers, or camera straps in front of the lens. So it's just, I mean, obviously it's all conjecture, right? But yeah. Uh, how, how do you feel about that, Jones? Are you, are you saddened by the fact that there's honestly no such things as ghosts? Or would you prefer to live in a world where this type of activity was warranted? I couldn't care less. Really? About either way, dude, so, I don't care. Honestly, I feel like that means that you, that you don't like um you don't want there to be or you don't care that there is i mean i don't care that there is or isn't see and me myself i just have to be honest with you i would love to live in a in a world where ghosts were real where I mean, you it would actually, be neat, depending what if you had an awful ass ghost that wouldn't leave your house and it was like tormenting the shit out of you and your family i mean but the idea that it could be real it hmm you know, like, do you have any friends or have you no, known anybody who has never ever had a friend <laughs> who believed, though, who believed in that stuff? I mean, I, I feel like I've had friends tell me that they have seen ghosts and I'm just mm-hmm. like, oh, really? Tell me about it. And I like, I, I'll listen. Oh, I lo- I'll dig in, man. You want to tell me a story? I'm listening. Exactly. Like, OK, I have definitely have friends who said, like, I've had experiences and I'm like, yo, I feel like for the most part. I'm I'm a disbeliever. I feel like for the most part, people who look for it, you're gonna find what you're looking for. Yeah, if you're looking yeah. for your partner to cheat, you're gonna find that too. Yeah, uh, amen. Yeah. So if you're looking for like, oh, I wonder if there's gonna be a supernatural activity that happens. Oh my god, my cup failed. Must be the ghost. Like, come right. on. Either I'm out way. in the woods. You hear Bigfoot stomping around? Like, no, nah, dude. There's boars and bears and snake men. Exactly. <laughs> It's snake men. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we can come back to snake men. Right? <laughs> yeah, come back we to might, snake men. We man. might come back to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I would like to live in a world where, like, some of the things that happen in movies. Like, I loved watching, uh, what was it? Like, the ghost. The uh, Purge? No, not the Purge. The ghost <laughs> The ghost enthusiast movies where the guys would, like, go to a haunted location and they'd set up, like, the, the EMF projector and they'd, like, do all, like. They have, like, the white noise machine. No, they have the whatever that thing. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I love Ghost parano- Hunters. Yeah, the Ghost Hunters. Now, Paranormal Activity is probably one of my favorite horror movies of my life. Like, honestly, when he pulls that lady's leg and pulls her out of bed and drags her down the hallway. That still gives me chills to this day when I watch it. I could watch it again and I'd be like, oh, chills. I love that type of stuff. And, and But I've never wanted to experience anything like it, obviously. <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> but knowing that it's just 100% fake is just kind of well, like, I it's mean, disheartening. I, I feel like, I'm, I feel like I <clears throat> am agnostic about it, though. Because, like, if if I could, like, find out that it's real. Yeah. I would be like, oh, that's that's pretty damn cool. <laughs> that's your that's your. But that's how I feel about like religion and aliens and <laughs> ghosts. What? That's pretty cool. That's your that's your response. Yeah, alien probably. life I- comes into alien knocks at the door right now. Duh, duh, duh. Yo, oh, that's pretty cool. 
Come on in. That's probably what I would say. You'd hook the mic up and mic him up, wouldn't you? You'd mic him up. I know you'd mic up the extraterrestrial. I know you'd mic up Gleepdorp. I would talk to Gleepdorp for hours. (laughs) You and Gleepdorp are in cahoots, I'm telling you. In cahoots, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I I feel you. I I think it would be cool, I guess, if aliens... (laughs) He just made fun of me for saying cool. (laughs) Dog. I was trying to use terminology that you were familiar yeah, with. I'm glad. <laughs> it's like speaking German to a German. I think it'd be a uh, guten if uh if a uh, ghost exists. Um, but Speaking of horror movies, What's up? did you see that there's a movie coming out called The Blackening? And it's I'm it's sorry, it's, it's, a, it's a horror movie. <laughs> but you know how like they always say the the black person in the horror movie dies first. Uh, the whole ca- it's, it's it's like a it's like a all the whole cast is black and it's a black okay. horror movie like uh-huh. a, almost like a scream not scream a scary movie yeah. but it's called yeah it says the blackening centers around a group of black friends who unite for a juneteenth weekend getaway only to find themselves trapped in a remote cabin with a twisted killer and it's just like a horror comedy oh, movie oh 100 percent watch that i'd probably go see it it's not at the theater down the street though oh yo by the way man flash is out this weekend we, i'm seeing flash are you i, I might go see it like after we're done here dead ass um i'm gonna see what times it's starting but most likely i'll see it tomorrow morning um yo flash getting seen with I, or without i don't I care i have to see the flash I heard that this movie's really good. I have not seen any of the reviews no, let's yet. Let's take a look. Man. Yeah, let's take a look real I mean, quick. This now. Is gonna date the what, shit out hey, of this We are gonna date the shit out of this movie. Look, hey yo, I'm not gonna lie to you guys at home. I'm sorry. This is the this is the honest to god truth. It is Friday, June sixteenth, right now. We are looking up Flash to see if it was any good. Jonas, am I disappointed? It's future me already disappointed. It's future me. I can't even find the goddamn oh oh god. It's got a 7.4, 68% on Rotten Tomatoes. God damn it, it's not good. 86% audience, though. Uh, they always do good. Okay, okay, okay. But it's just so hard because we just watched, what was it, the uh, the Spider-Verse movie. Oh, that was the best movie I've I seen in such a long time. Bro, that movie was so so good. Like, I want to go see it again, kind of. <laughs> like, right? it was so good that I want to... It was really good. And it I'm not really inter- into superhero movies, nor animated, animated. movies. Yeah. It was just entertaining. It was. It was, it was a little very, emotional. It got it was, a little deep. Yeah. And they had some heartstrings in there, I, man. I was surprised at some of the things they took, especially for, like, an animated movie. You think it'd be, like, geared towards more towards kids, but... Not not so much, man. It was like a lot of like, yo, like if I was a kid, that would have fucked me up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, I didn't need to see that. But yo, yeah, it was very, very good movie. Very I highly suggest the Spider-Verse movie. If you have not seen it, I um, go see it. It's good. Um, yeah. But I, I don't uh, we're, uh, jury still out on Flash. I'm gonna go see it tomorrow, tonight, tonight, tomorrow. Sometime. Right. Get the, get the use out that movie pass. Boogeyman. That's going to be trash, too. I got to see Boogeyman before it leaves, man. It's probably already gone. No, don't say that about the Boogeyman. Don't say, don't you dare speak <laughs> ill of the Boogeyman. Don't speak that way of the Boogeyman. Uh, do we have a shot? Is Bo- oh, it is. It's it's Boogeyman still hanging out, dude. So. Okay. I used to be a I used to be a super movie enthusiast. I would go and see like every new movie, even if it was something I didn't care about. I mean, now I you got to... movie pass, you could do that. That's very true. And I, it but, sucks, just leave. But I used to see like every movie just so I could like uh I don't know, I felt like I could be a review for my friends. Talk like, around the water cooler. Yeah. What? Yeah, it was before like Hey Marge, did you see the the awakening? <laughs> it was before movie uh what was that? Uh Rotten Tomatoes existed. Oh, you were like, Hey Marge. <laughs> the old- <laughs> so somebody was like, I wonder if that movie's any good. I'd be like, nah. M. Night Shyamalan <laughs> came out with a new flick. Yeah, I was my I was the Rotten Tomatoes for my friends. I was, oh. I would let them know. How'd they feel about your ratings? Uh, I mean, I feel like I saved them a couple bucks. Oh, but, you would just tell everyone not to go. Yeah. So you were like trying to like kill the movie theaters. Yeah, but if something was worth seeing, I remember like go and see that. Go Born Identity, go and see that, bro. I was blown away by that. That movie's good. I thought, right? I thought there's no way Matt Damon could pull it off. And I was like, oh. He did all right. Yeah. And then uh and then he made a lot of them and I didn't see any of the other ones. Yeah. 
Yo, I think I've been like a confirmed bachelor most of my. I used to go to the movies by myself just so I could like rate them to my friends. Is that is that like the nerdiest? Is that screen bachelor? I don't know. I think that I'm a virgin, even though I've had sex like <laughs> I, a bunch of times. I think maybe I'm a you virgin. just got lucky all the time. So you, <laughs> that I got like lucky most, 150 times. Dead ass. That's the most virgin ass shit I've ever said in my life. I can't even believe I said that. Yeah. I don't know. This this is becoming my therapy session. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazynown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.